Deshaun, just speaking of this, the you, Tari, and the guys in the second unit, how have you seen yourself as a ball handler, getting guys open, getting guys down, how have you seen yourself? Yeah, um, I mean, pretty much everybody you, you uh, talked about is like position, so, um, you know, Kim's a, a, a knockdown shooter, Tari can knock it down, um, but I'm really worried about the defensive side of the ball. Like, uh, I think that's going to be a matchup problem for a lot of teams this year because um, it was it was even hard for us on offense going against um, some of the lineups coach put out there together. So I'm I'm excited tomorrow to see um, how all the work over this training camp this week uh, looks against a different opponent. Does it feel very different this camp compared to your first three? Um, I think so, um, and I could be me personally just ready to win and then also just the guys that we've added to this roster and um, you know the coaching staff I mean it's just a different energy um, where everybody has something to prove and everybody's willing to do what it takes I, I just think that everybody's buying into what um, coach Ime and the, and the staff um, has set forth for us and uh, like I said we're going to roll it out tomorrow and start it up on a good foot. There's nobody who's gone through as much in these three years, obviously, as you have. Do you carry that with you still, or is that, hey, old, oh, don't worry? Um, no, nah, I mean, definitely starting the seasons out. Uh, I haven't had a, a good start yet, uh, if you look back uh, at our records. So um, the good thing about this this, this uh, job is every year it starts over. So um, my whole, whole thinking and whole goal is to just start right, play hard, leave it all out there, and the Which okay. defensive lineups have stood out the most to you so far? Uh, man, there's a lot. There's a lot of them. Um, like I, like you, like um, Kelly said, but Cam, me, Tari, Dylan, Jabari, Min. I mean, there's just so many jobs. There's just so many guys that you could throw out there, and it's just going to be a nightmare problem. I guess I just mean, is there one like five-man group that has really stood out either because of the switching ability or the versatility that they provide with you know as a um, five-man unit? Like I said, we're just going to have to see. We're just going to have to see. You may said that you've been playing a little bit of five, um, kind of getting back to what you did when you first got there. How do you think you're better equipped for that now than maybe a couple years ago? Uh, just being in the NBA um, for a few years now, the game slowed down, know what to look for, know the reads, and then just having um, veteran or guys around that know how to space the floor and are ready to knock down that open shot. I think Reggie is going to be great for us this year. You know, Fred on the um, Fred and Jalen space, and it's just going to make it even better for our slashers to get downhill and, and to make threes easier, which means open more open shots. Is there anything you've learned from uh, being around Jalen Brown? I guess over the last couple weeks. Oh man, um, I know you know some some people don't like him, but I mean he's one of the best guys to be around. Man, he always has a smile on his face. And, um, I'm excited to take the court with him this year. What do you think of his dance moves? Yeah, we're going to work on it. I mean, he still got some flavor, but um, <laughs> yeah, that was, I mean, like I said, we got a fun group of guys. We're always dancing, um, always, uh, you know, hanging out in the locker room, even when we don't have to be here. So um, just building a good culture, just a great culture. How is that getting to know somebody like him, someone you Played against several times over the last few years, and now you guys are developing like a relationship. Yeah, um, I think you know, game recognized game. Um, that's something that um, you can't dis, you can't not uh, give him his credit for how good of a basketball player he is. And um, I think the feelings mutual on my end. And when you put that together and, and see what you can uh, complement each other. And, and, and provide what, what the team needs defensively, I think that that's going to be something huge for us this year. Last year, you kind of went in and out a lot because of the injuries. How do you feel now, not physically, but in terms of your game, because it's not so much stop and start? You're, you're yeah. Ready to... um, yeah, uh, like I said, I had to give credit to um, uh, the training staff here. They've been with me um, every morning, 7.30, just making sure that I'm prepared for this moment. and. Um, like you said, I'm healthy, um, and the training I've done uh, over the summer has gave me the confidence in my in my body, confidence in um, the, the foot that I, I had an injury with, and I haven't thought about that in weeks. I haven't thought about it. I, I feel great. When you said 7:30 in the morning, was that through the summer? Or through the summer, all summer, mm -hmm. all summer. So 
we were here getting it in and um, this is just a credit to just the work we put in and I'm excited to see how the season um, starts with it. You were talking about the spacing a minute ago. At day one of camp, we saw you and Amin kind of in, you know, scrimmaging in the lineup together. How do you feel like the spacing works when you and him are on the floor at the same time? Um, I think that we're going to play fast, you know. Um, with a lineup with me and him, you know, we're both, I would say we can facilitate, but that dude's just a freak. Mm -hmm. Like, you guys are going to see, there's, there's not anything he can't do out there. And, um, you know, depending on who else is on the court, I think that's going to be one of those fun lineups when we go out there and just play hard and, 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 and run. Thank you. Thank you.